Our estimated arrival time is 30 minutes. Please prepare for the plane to descend. <coughs> so, uh, what are you reading there? Huh? Oh, uh, this is just uh, Frankenstein. It's a classic, one of my favorites. I've read it probably a dozen times <laughs> since high school. Sorry, never had much of a chance to read it myself. Oh, well, if you ever get the chance to, you certainly should. It's wonderful. I'll make sure to remember that. So, uh, I'm sorry, what was your name again? Joan. Joan Booker the Fourth. My mother and my grandmother, my great-grandmother were all named Joan. Kind of a tradition in our family. Oh, interesting. Uh, my name is Leon. Leon Schroeder. You were originally born in Germany, right? Yes, that's correct. And, uh, well, then I was orphaned, and so, uh, an American couple adopted me, raised and me. once, I found an entire family perfectly preserved. There was some kind of mudslide that completely buried the village. And it wasn't just this family. It was several artifacts, even complete dog skeletons. It was incredible. Wow, I cannot imagine such a find. I know. To find something so complete like that, it was it was wonderful. Most definitely the greatest discovery I have ever found. I imagine you've done quite a few discoveries. They're pretty infamous. Well, yes, uh, I don't exactly keep count, but I do have an album of photos from every single one. Wow, that's supposed to be quite a few albums. Oh yes, they are, and lined up in chronological order. I am kind of weird like that. I, I think it's quite special. Oh, well, thank you. Attention, the plane will be landing in just a few moments. Please fasten your seatbelts and prepare for our arrival. Oh, the worst part of flights. I get a bit nauseous at this part. Oh, well, uh, do you, do you need a barf bag or? No, no, I, I'll be fine. Just, uh, gotta concentrate. This place is incredible! So magnificent! I never would have imagined! Yes, indeed. It's wonderful. Excuse me, are you Joan Booker and Leon Schroeder? Oh, yes, yes I am, and yes he is! Very good then. Please follow me. Mr. Rockwell will see you now. Well, time to get briefed on our assignment. Let's go. Mr. Rockwell, Joan Booker and Leon Schroeder are here for you. Thank you very much, Paul. Please go make sure the luggage is being carried into the hotel. Of course, sir. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Thank you very much, Mr. Rockwell. I'm very excited for this opportunity. Yes, it is quite an honor. Of course, I would choose two of the most infamous archaeologists for my discovery. Now, uh, have you both been briefed? I did read the email and the packet that you sent, sir. Very good. Then you will know that there is a site just outside the city that is waiting to be explored. I want both of you to please uncover everything. Bodies, bones, artifacts, and please find out what happened so we may put it in our town museum. I want everybody to learn the history of our area. Yes, we will work as hard as we can and find out the truth. Wonderful. I'm sure you both have had a long flight and you're both tired. Uh, we will get rooms prepared for you. Is there one room or two? Two rooms? I'm married. Oh, uh, my apologies. I, I wasn't sure. If, of course, two rooms. We will get those prepared for you immediately. Yes, Mr. Rockwell. You call for me, sir. Yes, please escort our two lovely guests to their rooms. Uh, 453 and 452. Of course, Mr. Rockwell. Please follow me. Thank you, sir. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Here are your rooms, sir and madam. Your luggage has already been placed inside. Thank you very much. You've been so kind. Thank you. Uh, good night, Joan. Uh, good night, Leon. Oh, thank you again. <sighs> Got a busy day tomorrow. Mm. James, I can't believe you're, you're cheating on me. Joan, you can't say you didn't see this coming. We haven't been ourselves in weeks, months. Are you really surprised? We just, we're not the same anymore. I, I don't love you anymore. But we've been together for, for so long and we're high school sweethearts. How can 
did you just throw that away? For some stupid pink over fluffed kins. Pardon me. You were so rude. I can't believe James would ever want to marry a mess like you. Well, at least I'm not a homewrecker. Joan, that's enough. Victoria, please just don't say anything. But she called me. I know what she called you. Just don't say anything. Just let it go, okay? Let it go? I'm married to an idiot who's cheating on me. And you want me to just forget about it and let it go? Joan, I would have divorced you a long time ago if I could, but you know what people are like in this town. Our families, we would be a shame and we would be whispered on the lips of everybody. I, I don't know if that's what you want, but I'm a respected lawyer. I'm known throughout different cities and... I get called around a lot. I get it. You don't want to mess up your reputation. I get it. It's it's fine. I mean, I I have lots of explorations to do, and I, I will almost never be home. And you, you know what? I just I hope you two are happy, because I know I won't be. What a drag! What did you ever see in her, James? I don't know. I don't know what my foolish teenage self ever saw. Can I ever sleep again? It's okay. It's okay. Just two more days. And then you have another exploration. <laughs> Just another flashback dream. I was at the door. Oh, Leon. Oh, gee, I'm still wearing my PJs. What time is it? Oh, it's, it's nine o'clock. I don't know if that's early for you or not, but, uh, I got a wake-up call and... No, no, no. I'm usually up by 7.30 anyway. I overslept. I'm so sorry. I, I just had a, a really bad dream. I'll be downstairs. Uh, just give me a few minutes to get ready. Um, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a very good point. Uh, I don't agree with that one. Good morning, Mr. Rockwell. Are you two ready to uh, begin working? We have a team all ready to report to the work site and we have a shuttle. Absolutely, I am so excited. Uh, yes, of course, ready to begin whenever you need us. Wonderful, if you'll just go to the front of the hotel, you'll see a shuttle and the work team. Have fun. We will. Are you kidding me? That is a priceless artifact and you're trying to tell me that that's just a piece of junk. It's in perfect condition, so it's a little burnt on the top. That is the marks of a true family using it. It is a precious artifact. You can't tell me you're not going to put that in the museum. Oh, well, ma'am, I. No, 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 no. You have to put that in the museum. Come on, please back me up here, Leon. Well, she knows what she's talking about. You've got to put that in the museum. It's obviously a treasured family artifact. Thank you, Leon. Well, uh, I, I, I don't know if we're- You want to teach your people about the past of your land? You better put this in that museum. This is important. I don't care how simple it is. It is something- No, we've been at that place several times and there seems to be nothing there. You found part of a skeleton. There has to be another part there. Where did the other part go? It doesn't just disappear. Come on. We've got to try it at least once more. I'm going to have to go with Joan on this one. We were hired to do a full exploration. That means full skeletons. Not just one skull, a femur, and maybe a toe. The entire thing. You think that your people are going to be impressed by one skull? Well, it's better than no skulls. And a full skeleton is even better than 20 skulls. Come on, we've got to keep digging. We've got plenty of people and plenty of resources and plenty of time. Do you think Mr. Rockwell is going to well, complete? If this report is accurate, absolutely. If Mrs. Booker had it pushed, we wouldn't have found the entire family. Oh, and there are more skeletons, I tell you. More. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. I don't think I've come across a discovery like this in a long, long time. <sighs> These past few days are just speeding by and they're wonderful. I know. I can't believe we found as much as we have. This is most definitely the greatest exploration I think I've ever been on. <laughs> well, it's definitely exciting. So what are you up to tonight? <sighs> I think I'm just going to go have a few drinks before I head to bed. Oh, well, that sounds fun. Are you headed to bed yourself? I know you're an early riser. Actually, I think I'm going to join you for a few drinks if you don't mind. <laughs> And the way he looked at you when you told him that it was not a children's toy. It was an adult farming tool. I know. You think you think it'd be obvious. Like, oh, what child would play with something like that? That is ugh. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. Like, what school did you go to? <laughs> so, so far we found six full adults. 
five children, two dogs, and even a cat, and twelve horses. This is incredible. We're finding it in a complete city. I don't know how you're doing it. We found bodies, and now we have to find artifacts. Artifacts are what is most priceless. Bodies are great finds, but artifacts. She's right. We've got to keep looking. We have to find something. I don't know what. A jug. You've seen what we've found so far. They're in perfect condition. We can't waste this opportunity. I'm sorry, Mr. Schroeder, but I don't think we're going to have enough room for all these artifacts. You've got to have room. This is very important. Look, I'm just as amazed as everybody else. Make room for her artifacts. Uh, okay. Can you believe we're almost done? I can't believe the dig site is almost completed. We've been working on it for so long and now everybody will be going back to where they came from. That's such a shame, really. Joan, Leon, you two are wonderful. I wish you worked here all the time. Well, I don't know what else we could do. <laughs> I mean, unless you can find more dig sites for us to go to, to explore. Well, I'm certainly quite tempted to send out a bunch of people to go looking now. <laughs> <sighs> so... Where are you both going to be going home to? I'll just be returning to my hometown, to my family, my parents, just living quietly with them. Oh, that sounds so peaceful. And you'll definitely have lots of time to relax, especially after all the hard work we've all been putting in. What about you, Joan? Me? Well, I, I guess I'll, I'll just be returning home too. Oh, you're married, aren't you? Oh, tell us about your husband. Oh, yes, please do. Oh, well, well um, he's a, uh, he's a successful lawyer and... You know what? I think I'm gonna head to bed. I'm extremely tired. Uh, good, good night. Well, that was strange. I wonder what's up with Leon. He didn't seem very tired to me. I hope he's all right. Maybe he's come down with something. Oh, it's... Maybe it's all the dust. I'm sure it's getting to his head allergies or something. Maybe. Um, you know what? I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go make sure he's okay. I'll see you both in the morning at the museum. Absolutely. Bright and early. Of course, you're always bright and early. <laughs> Good night. Good night, both of you. Leon, wait. Hold up. What do you want, Joan? Uh, I... I just was making sure you're okay, that's all. I'm fine. I said I'm tired and I'm going to bed. I'm okay, uh... Do you want me to walk with you there? No, I know how to get back to my hotel room on my own. I've been doing it for weeks. Sorry, I... I just wanted to make sure you're okay. <sighs> Way to screw that up, Leon. I feel like I did something wrong, but... What could it have been? I bet he's just stressed out. Yeah, from all the work we've been doing. I'm sure he didn't mean to snap at me. Yeah, yeah he's, he's stressed out and I'm sure he'll be fine in the morning. Just go to sleep, Joan. He's cheating on you? What happened, dear? You two have been perfect since high school. Oh, Joan, darling, tell me, what's going on? I, I don't know. It's just things have been off, and I, I thought it was just because we were both busy, and it was a way line, and, and then I saw her, and I caught them in the act, kissing in her own kitchen. In the kitchen that my explosions have paid for the whole remodeling, not him, me. And, and he, he, he said he would have divorced me a long time ago if it wasn't for his reputation. Well, darling, he's absolutely right. What? You know people in this town the way they gossip. Do you remember when you were, uh, I think you were senior, and it was Rosalind and her husband Edmund? <sighs> that was the biggest scandal in my entire life. Mother, you can't possibly be- Now you listen to me and you listen to me good, Joan. We Jones, your grandmother and your great-grandmother and I, we stick to our marriages. Men are not perfect creatures and sure they do things like find other women attractive and you listen to me. I don't want to hear any talk of a divorce. You will act like your marriage is perfect. Mother, how can I stay married to a man who has another woman in our bed? I've had to sleep on the couch. I don't want to hear it, Catherine. I don't want my daughter to be in the middle of a scandal. I don't care what you have to do. You will make this right, or you will live with it. Mother, you would rather me put 
a reputation above my happiness. Do what you have to do. You know what is right. I've raised you well. Yes, mother. Glad to hear it. Now, do you want a blueberry muffins or cranberry? Cranberry, I guess. That's my girl. I'll be right back. <laughs> What time is it? Oh, Leon! Uh, Joan, I'm, I'm sorry about last night. I just... I was really stressed out and... Sometime later today can we talk? It's, um... Something kind of... Uh, well, serious and... Yes, absolutely. No, I understand. It's... I, this whole thing has been just kind of a total rush and... I... We definitely should talk. I feel like we haven't, you know, like, just sat down and had a conversation. You're a great friend. Y yeah, uh, friend? Yes, I mean, like, this whole thing has been great, and you're the best partner I could ever ask for. I I'm gonna go get dressed. I'll, I'll meet you downstairs for breakfast. Yeah, uh, sure, of course. Awesome, okay, I'll be down in a few minutes. And that is how the exhibit will look to everybody who comes in. All right. What did you think? Joan? Perfect. I mean, it tells everything. Daily life. It explains the different artifacts. Our, our, our thoughts on what the families might be like. And their ultimate demise. And I cannot thank you enough. No, no, please. Mr. Rockwell and myself should be the ones thanking you. This is an excellent exhibit and it could not have been done without the both of you. Oh, please. She's the one who did it all. She's she's great. She's got great talent. She's amazing. Oh, well, thank you. Leon, don't be so hard on yourself. You were a great partner. I couldn't have asked for anybody better. She is right. You are very talented. Especially with your, um, negotiation skills, shall we say? Negotiation skills? We had some discussions on, um, some of the exhibits, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, thank you again. We probably should get going if we want to get back before it gets dark. And mm, of course. Well, thank you again. And you are always welcome to come and visit. Oh, really? Oh, that'd be wonderful. I'll try to come by opening day before I have to go home. Yes, yes, I absolutely. Oh, wonderful. We would be honored to have you both here. The exhibit is complete and I'm so thrilled with everything both of you have done. I'm so excited I could be able to work on this. Thank you so much, Mr. Rockwell. Yes, of course, of course. I will, of course, be depositing your payment into both of your accounts within a few days, and of course I'll pay for your journeys back home. Oh, you don't have to. It's it's quite all right. No, no, no. I insist. Besides, I can't afford it. <laughs> oh, if you're sure, I, I can most definitely afford it. Oh, please. Joan, you're so kind. Let me pay for one last thing, all right? You've done so much already. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rockwell. Uh, when is it that you will um, both be returning home? Actually, I, I probably will go tomorrow afternoon. What? So soon? Oh, well, that's a shame. Yeah, there's there's just some things that I need to tend to at home. Um, I, I want to stay. Your town is lovely. Oh, no, no. I quite understand. I'm sure your husband must miss you very much. Yeah. Something like that. Um, I, I think I'm going to go and turn in for the night, but... Thank you again. Of course, and you know what, if there's anything like this I ever need again, I know exactly who to call. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rockwell, and good night. I I'll probably be leaving tomorrow as well. Joan, you promised we could talk. Oh, I'm so sorry, I completely forgot about that. Of course, Leon. Um, why don't you come to my room while I start packing? Where is that red t-shirt? I know we packed it somewhere. It you can start talking anytime I'm listening. Uh, uh Joan? I brought Dracula with me too. I mean, I know I had Frankenstein, but I, I swore I brought J uh, Joan. Oh, I can't believe. Oh, I can't believe I'm such a mess. I lost everything in this tiny little room. Joan. Oh, what is it? I'm listening. You're really uh, distracted. I'm so sorry. You're right. I promised we would talk. Let's talk. Oh, uh. You have my full attention. I promise. Will you uh, tell me about your. Uh... Your husband? What? I'm just curious about your personal life. Uh, I hope that's not... <sighs> no, um... <sighs> well, um, my husband and I, we met in high school, you know, perfect high school uh, love story. Um, I didn't go to college. 
as you know, but he did to become a lawyer and um, let me guess, you got married while he was in college. Yep, <laughs> beautiful wedding and perfect happy couple. <laughs> it, it sounds great. We haven't been a real couple in so long that I don't know what it's like to hold somebody's paw. I, I don't even remember. Wait, what? What happened? Um, he came home one day with another woman. And I guess they've been together for a while. And I didn't know about it. Is cheating on you? You're gonna divorce him, right? Well, I I'm sorry, I'm being too forward, aren't I? I come from a really small town. And, uh, divorce is a huge scandal. And, um, it would ruin his, his reputation as well as my family's. Joan, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Apparently, reputation is more important than happiness. Um, I have my work anyway, and I'm hardly home. I mean, I have explorations, and I'm, I'm sure another offer will come up soon. Can, um... Can I tell you something? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. I'm, here I am, wrapped up in my own thoughts. Please, go ahead. I'm listening, I promise. These last few weeks have been amazing. I thought it was this was just going to be, you know, yet another work trip, but getting to spend time with you, it was great. And I, these have been some of the best days of my life. And uh, you're an amazing person. You're, you're funny, you're intelligent, you're so kind and sweet, and just seeing your face light up when you find a new discovery, or just the whole way through, it was incredible, and being able to be there with you and help you and experience it. I guess what I'm trying to say is, Joan Booker, I think I'm in love with you. What? Excuse me. J Joan? This, this has got to be a joke, right? This, this can't be real. This, this stuff, this doesn't happen. This, this is Hollywood movie stuff. This, this is crazy. I am. But I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I mean, oh my god. I'm falling for him too. Sorry for rushing out like that. That's just this is so this is all weird to me. I, I mean I was just a nerdy girl in high school and I, I probably wouldn't even be married if it wasn't for meeting James and I, I'm sorry if I was too sudden I No, I I wouldn't have noticed if you didn't say anything I'm kind of oblivious like that. If you want me to go, I No, no, um the thing is I think I have feelings for you too, and this is all so new, and I gotta take baby steps, just just slowly, because I don't I don't know what I'm doing, and I, I certainly don't want to fall too hard, and just you know, Joan, I I know this is a really difficult situation, and it's it's weird. I definitely did not ever imagine this happening, but. I promise, if you fall, and if you fall hard, I will catch you. Liam, do you have any idea how sweet you are? This isn't a marriage, James. I just want this all to be over with so I can move on with my life. Alright, fine. My name is Joan Booker. I'm an archaeologist. And I'm very much in love with my best friend, Leon. Things haven't always been easy after the divorce, but Leon's been there to catch me, just like he promised. I couldn't ask for a better friend and a better love.